I made a video recently that was all about how to change your life. And what I did was I walked you through practical steps that you could take to really implement change in your life. And it was about creating new habits and of course taking action towards those habits. But here's the thing, what I found was a lot of people in the comments said that they'd try to change their life in the past, but they just couldn't bring themselves to do the things that they needed to do. Maybe that's you, maybe you are really trying to create change in your life, but no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to push through and take that action. And quite often this is simply a matter of discipline. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and this channel is all about entrepreneurship and living your best life. And what I wanted to talk about in today's video was discipline, but I didn't actually want to give you a whole list of ways that you can increase your discipline. I mean, there are so many things you can do. First of all is make sure that you have a really solidified why you need to do the things that you need to do. You know, that vision, that North Star, that's so crucially important, crucially important. That's just, it's really important. But also there are things like managing your environment, you know, removing the temptation per say, making sure you're creating the right amount of energy, eating healthy, working out, managing your mind, meditation. There's lots of different things that you can do to increase your discipline. But I particularly wanted to talk about one of those today, and that is the power of accountability. If you did enjoy this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new around here, then why not subscribe? I mean, it's the coolest place to hang out, to get your entrepreneurial fix and just learn how to just live an epic life basically. So as I said, there are lots of things that you can do, but particularly what I like to implement is accountability. You do not have to do this whole discipline thing alone. I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of people try to do is they take on all of this pressure that they need to change their life or change their habits or change their actions. And it feels really isolating because quite often we get in our own heads that we're in it by ourselves. And that's just not the case. One of the most powerful things you can do for your discipline is actually rely on other people. And there is two ways that you can actually do this. The first is the classic accountability. Accountability for me has been huge. Having accountability from my business besties, my business coach, from my partner, from my team, from my community, that's the thing that inspires me to actually take action. I use this in everything I do. For example, when I'm going to create a new course or program, I literally have to pre-sell the program, meaning I sell it before I've actually created it, to discipline myself to actually create that program. If I had all of the time in the world to go out there and create a course, I'd probably never do it. But the fact that I have people relying on me to get it done helps me be more disciplined, helps me be more focused, and helps me stick to my deadline. I mean, I have no other option. But how you can utilize this in your own life is simply just connecting with people. As I said, having some type of business bestie, having some type of mastermind group. I've spoken about this a lot here on the channel, but I wanted to bring it up again for the particular context of the discipline conversation because it is just so powerful. I mean, humans all have a slight level of competitiveness as well, and this can really increase our sense of wanting to do something. But this isn't always competitiveness as in I need to win, it's competitiveness of I need to stay a part of the pack. It's a biological response within us. And this is why I also encourage you to surround yourself with people who are already doing the things that you want to do. My coach holds me really accountable for a lot of the stuff that I want to get done and sometimes it's not even through what she says, but the actions she is taking herself. So when it comes to being disciplined, having and surrounding yourself with people that are really forcing you energetically to get stuff done is super powerful. But the next thing when it comes to relying on other people for discipline is actually a concept that I learned from Brendan Burchard, which is called social reward. A lot of the time we don't feel disciplined to do things because we've got no motivation. You know, when when we set a big goal for ourselves, like I want to start a business, I want to lose 10 kilos, I want to save enough money to travel. It's those mini wins along the way of that that's actually keeping us inspired and motivated. But here's the thing, often when you're an entrepreneur or you're creating and setting goals by yourself, you don't have people to celebrate those mini wins with. This was my experience in the beginning of my journey. I found that because I was working from home and I quite often felt really lonely, I found that the big wins as well as the big losses and the bad things that were happening, they all just merged into one monotonous emotion. And I felt kind of 
bland to explain it. When I actually started my mastermind and, you know, as I said, like joined group coaching programs and did things to just surround myself constantly with people to celebrate with, it made it so much more exciting. You know, for example, one of my goals is to build my company up to a million dollars in the next sort of 12 months. And the fact that I actually have a group of people that I can say, hey guys, like I had a 40K month, I had a 50K month, and celebrate those stepping stones to that big goal with, it makes it so much more exciting. So Brennan Bajard actually talks about social reward being crucial to increase and sustain levels of motivation. You need to have people to celebrate the milestones along your way to your goals with. Even if it is just someone who can say, hey, I went to the gym today, like I feel so good about it. You know, I took the action that I need to do to get me towards that goal. Having people to increase the excitement and put energy and excitement behind that goal will help you to stay more disciplined along the way. So here's the thing. You do not have to rely on yourself to be disciplined. Obviously, it's a big part of it, it's the core part of it, but allow yourself to surrender to other people as well. Connect with other people, collaborate with other people, get other people to hold you accountable and find people to celebrate with. Now, I've got lots of videos on how you can actually make friends online and how you can build out your network, so I'm gonna leave them linked on the screen somewhere and linked in the description below, but if you have any questions about this, please, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. This is my favorite topic. This is why I created my membership, The Game Changer Collective. It's why I'm so passionate about community and basically everything I do is in a group setting. So I just love connecting. It's so important for success. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if connecting with people is something you're gonna be committing to for the rest of 2019. And I really, really, really wanna thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.